Lesson 5 of chapter 1 is using a problem-solving plan. So this is approaches that we use to solve word problems and real-life problems. So we're going to read a problem and make a plan to solve it, and then we're going to solve that problem then, and then look back and see if we got it right. So here's the first problem we're looking at. We're going to read the problem and then make a plan here. So you run in a city. Short blocks are north-south and then are 0.1 miles long. Long blocks are east and west, and they run 0.15 block miles long. You will run two blocks east, a number of blocks south, two block, two long blocks west, and then back to your start. You want to run two miles, a total of two miles, at a rate of seven miles per hour. How many short blocks must you run? So the question it asks us here is, what do you know? So we need to write down all the information that we think is going to help us solve this problem. We know the length of short blocks. Short blocks are... 0.1 miles. We know the length of the long blocks. Those are 0.15 miles. Let's see, we know how much we've run with the long blocks, right? We've done two long blocks west. We've done two long blocks east. Remember the block long blocks are east and west. So we've done two of these and then two of these. So we've done a total of, we've already run four long blocks. And let's see, we want to run a total distance of two miles then. The speed that we're going is not that important. Um, we can run 15 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour, but we still need to run the same amount of blocks to cover the same distance. So we could put that in what we know, but we don't really need to. It's not essential. What we need to find out is how many short blocks are we away from two miles because we've already run four long blocks at 0 0.15 miles. So if we're going to solve this then, we need to say four long blocks times 0 0.15 plus how many short blocks, we'll do um, n short blocks at times 0 0.1. And then that needs to equal 2 because we need to get to 2 miles here. So if we're going to do order of operations, we could do the 4 long blocks times 0 0.15. 4 times 0 0.15 would give us 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 plus n short blocks times 0 0.1 needs to equal 2. So if we're going to solve this like an equation, we could subtract 0 0.6 from both sides. So 2 minus 0 0.6 is 1.4. So now we have n times 0 0.1 equals 1.4. And, and now we have n being multiplied times 0 0.1. So what's the opposite of, of multiplying n times 0 0.1? That would be dividing by 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 will be divided down here. Then we also need to divide by 0 0.1 across the equal sign as well. So we're left with n, which is the number of short blocks, equals 1.4 divided by 0 0.1. That equals 14. So n equals 14. So that's uh, 14 blocks we need to run to get to 2 miles because we've already done 4 long blocks at 5.15. But to be sure, let's plug this into the equation and see if we got it right. So this is what it should be. We should be running four long blocks at 0 0.15 miles, and then we need to add 14 short blocks at 0 0.1 miles, and that needs to equal two. So four times 0 0.15 equals 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 plus 14 times 0 0.1. 14 times 0 0.1 is 1.4, and that needs to equal 0 0.6 plus 1.4, if you can't do that in your head, we could do it on here. And that equals 2. So this is a very true equation. We need to run 14 short blocks.